This is the Orion spacecraft, and it's continuing its journey back to Earth on a 25.5-day Artemis 1 mission. Flight controllers and engineers at NASA continue to test the spacecraft and its systems in preparation for future flights with humans on board, including the Artemis 2 mission. And during this time of the flight, NASA did a test called the Propellant Slosh, which is scheduled during a less active part of the mission. Propellant motion or slosh in space is difficult to model on Earth because liquid propellant moves differently in tanks in space than on Earth due to the lack of gravity. And on its way back from the moon, the Orion space capsule will travel through the Van Allen radiation belts. This is an area outside of the Earth's radiation field, and this is the deep space radiation environment, which includes energetic particles produced by the sun during solar flares, also particles from cosmic rays from outside of the galaxy. During this Artemis 1 uncrewed mission, the Orion space capsule is carrying experiments and instrumentation to better understand how this will affect the crewed missions from Artemis 2 and beyond. During this mission, in the Orion capsule, they have mannequins, and one of them is called the Commander Mudikin Campos. It contains two radiation sensors, as well as a sensor under the headrest and another behind the seat to record acceleration and vibration throughout the missions. This is going to help the crews of future missions. The seat is positioned and it's in a recumbent or laid back position with elevated feet, which will help maintain blood flow to the head for the crew members on future missions during ascent and re-entry. The laid back position also reduces the chance of injury by allowing the head and feet to be held securely during the launch and the landing of the Orion capsule. It spreads out everything during high acceleration and deceleration periods and during the splashdown. During the launch of the Artemis missions, people are expected to experience about two and a half times the force of gravity during ascent and four times the force of gravity at two different points during the planned re-entry profile. Engineers will compare the Artemis 1 flight data with previous ground-based vibration tests with a similar mannequin and human subjects to correlate the performance prior to Artemis 2. This is for the safety of the Artemis 2 astronauts. In addition to the sensors on the mannequin and on the seats, the Campos mannequin is wearing the first-generation Orion Crew Survival System Pressure Suit. That's an astronaut suit that they will wear during launch, entry, and other dynamic phases of the mission. Though the primary goal of the suit is for launch and re-entry from the journey to the moon, the astronauts could survive in this suit for up to six days as they make their way back to Earth if anything were to go wrong during the Orion missions. And you may be wondering, why are the spacesuits orange? And that's because you can see them easily in the ocean, so they ever need to exit Orion without the assistance of recovery personnel from NASA or the Navy. And on December 11th at 1240 p.m. Eastern Time, the Orion spacecraft will finally splash down off the coast of San Diego near Guadalupe Island in the Pacific Ocean. Teams from NASA will gather data from the spacecraft and use it for the Artemis 2 and 3 and beyond missions. Now, I want to say thank you for watching the show. I appreciate all of your support throughout the years of doing this. And if you found this helpful, please take a second and subscribe to the channel because it helps me a little bit, but it helps you even more because YouTube will see that and they'll see that you like spaceflight, you like SpaceX, you like NASA, and they're going to show you more cool stuff from all of those kinds of channels, not just from me, but from other creators out there. So thanks so much for liking and subscribing to this video. Now watch the splashdown on NASA's YouTube channel. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. I got two links, one subscription link and one Artemis one playlist link. Also leave in the comments below if you like Artemis, give it a thumbs up, say yes with an exclamation point or a thousand exclamation points. Actually don't spam, that's pretty bad. But say yes, I love Artemis. Thank you so much. It's so fun to be able to do these videos. I love it. You didn't click it like yet? I mean, you could have clicked that Artemis link up there. It's just right over there. Right over there. Pretty cool. You can watch some other videos. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. It's cool. I'm just going to be hanging out here. That's it. That's the news. The news is gone. It's done. I'm just hanging out, waiting for you to click that link.